let's talk about the four way extension now when we are solving a system of equations. And the last way is supposed to be the easiest, but nobody really does it. Anyway, though, the first way is by graphing. So let's graph 2x minus 3y equals 6 first. And to do so, let's put this into the y equals mx plus b form. Let's minus 2x on both sides. And then we will have negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Then we are going to divide everybody by negative 3. And we will get y equals negative 2 divided by negative 3 is positive 2 over 3. And then the x on the side, 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So here we know that the y intercept is at negative 2. We go to the y axis and we go to negative 2. That's our first point. Then the slope right here is 2 over 3. The positive 2 tells us that we go up 2 times, and the 3 tells us that we go to the right 3 times from the y intercept. Up 2 times, and then to the right 3 times. So that's our second point. Now we can just connect the dots with a line like this. Okay, for the second equation, 4x plus y equals 5. Let's minus 4x on both sides. We will have y equals negative 4x plus 5. So here is our y-intercept. At 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then our slope right here is negative 4, which is the same as negative 4 over 1. Negative 4 tells us that we go down 4 times, and then the 1 tells us that we go to the right one time. So go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and then go to the right one time. So that's our second point. Then we are going to connect the dots like this. OK, and then as we can see, this is our point of intersection at 1.5, comma, the y value is negative 1. So the answer for this system of equations is 1.5 comma negative 1. This is the x value and this is the y value. But sometimes if the answer is like at 1.4 or like 1.7, it would be hard to see. That's why we have other methods as well. So the second method is called the substitution. And what you want to do is isolate the variable and then plug that expression into the other equation. The easiest variable to isolate is this, because we just have y. So this is 4x plus y equals 5. We can just minus 4x on both sides and get y equals negative 4x plus 5. Then we will plug in this expression into the first equation for the y. So this will give us 2x minus 3 times the y is this. So we have negative 4x plus 5, and then that is equal to 6. This equation has just x, so we can solve it regularly. Let's first distribute the negative 3. So this is 2x. Negative 3 times negative 4x is positive 12x. And then negative 3 times positive 5 is negative 15. And now it's equal to 6. Then we see 2x plus 12x is 14x. And then minus 15 is equal to 6. Then we can just add 15 on both sides. And we get 14x equals 6 plus 15 is 21. And then divide both sides by 14. We can reduce by 7. So 21 divided by 7, 14 divided by 7, we get 3 over 2, which is actually the same as 1.5. And we will also have to solve for y right here. 
we know y equals negative 4x plus 5. But now we know x is equal to 3 over 2. So we can just put down 3 over 2 and then plus 5. Now to multiply negative 4 with 3 over 2, I will put it as negative 4 over 1 and then times 3 over 2. What you can do is just you can cross reduce, right? 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 two times, and then negative 4, negative 2 times 3, we get negative 6. Well, another way to do it is negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, divided by 2 is negative 6, and then plus 5, and we get negative 1 for the y. So as you can see, the answer is still going to be 3 over 2, which is the same as 1.5, and then the y value is negative 1. So our graph earlier was correct. So now let's start with it's called the elimination, and what you want to do is pick either x or y to be eliminated. Let's say we want to eliminate y because I see this is just plus y. What we want to make sure is the coefficients have to be the same but opposite sign. This is negative 3, so we want to have a positive 3 right here because negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So what we want to do is let's just multiply the second equation by positive 3. So I will keep the first equation 2x minus 3y equals 6. Then 3 times 4 is 12x. And then 3 times y is plus 3y. And 3 times 5, we get 15. As you can see, they have the same number but opposite sign. So now if we add the equations, you will see that negative 3y plus 3y will cancel out to be 0. Now 2x plus 12x is 14x. 6 plus 15 is 21. And then let's just divide both sides by 14. So we get x equals 21 divided by 14 reduced by 7, just like what we did earlier, and we have 3 over 2. Now, with x equals 3 over 2, we can plug this into either the first equation or the second equation, and then solve for y. It's easier to work with this because we just have y. So here we have 4, and the x is 3 over 2 plus y equals 5. And 3 over 2 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. And then plus y equals 5. Then minus 6 on both sides, we get y equals negative 1. So again, the answer is 3 over 2 comma negative 1. Now the last way is called the Cremus rule, which allows you to solve for x and y right away. x is equal to, we do 6 times 1 first, which is 6, and then minus negative 3 times 5, which is negative 15. And then over 2 times 1, which is 2, and then minus negative 3 times 4, which is negative 12. 6 plus 15 is 21. 2 plus 12 is 14. Reduced by 7, we get 3 over 2. And then for the y, we are going to do 2 times 5 first, which is 10, and then minus 6 times 4, which is 24. And then over the same thing, but let's do it again. 2 times 1, which is 2, and then minus negative 3 times 4, which is negative 12. On the top, we get negative 14. On the bottom, this is 2 plus 12, which is positive 14. Reduce, we get negative 1. I will definitely do more examples on this later on, but hopefully you find this video to be helpful.